Hey, hey, how you doing today? I hope you're having a blessed one. In today's video, we're gonna check out this four bedroom, two and a half bathroom home. It has 1,975 square feet. It's a two story with a two car garage, as you can see. Anyway, this home is located on the north side of Jacksonville and it's very quiet and lovely, well-maintained subdivision. This is a 2024 build, so it's brand new to you, never been lived in before. That means building incentives and an interest rate of lower than 5%. The beauty of this location, you're about four hours or less away from everywhere you would want to go. You're, you're close to the airport, you're close to the beaches. Uh, if you need to go up to Atlanta, that's about four hours away. Everything else is closer. All right. With that being the case, we about to go ahead and check this bad boy out and take a look, y'all. All right, all right. Check it out, check it out. Take a look, take a look. This is the lovely two-story home that we're about to check out in today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you to the site agent for letting me tour this. If you're interested in uh, checking out this home in person, definitely let me know. Don't hesitate to reach out. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about what we got going on here. So as you pull up to this home, I just want y'all to see this neighborhood real quick. Very quiet, well-maintained, well-manicured, you know, all of the good stuff. And you can hear, it's quiet. I don't have a filter on my microphone today. We have a slight bit of trees in the back. It's not quite a preserve. It's just uh, separating you from the lots behind you. That's the next phase back there. But anyway, this house right here, you have a decent amount of space in between your neighbors. So that's one of the things you're gonna notice when you pull up to this bad boy. Another thing you're gonna notice, there is no mailbox right here obstructing your view in front of the home. So there are community mailboxes. And the beauty of that is the mailbox is not right in front of your home, okay? Now, as you can see with my car, you can fit at least two cars in this driveway, you know, two, you know, full-size trucks or SUVs or regular-size cars, maybe four if you have smaller vehicles, okay? Of course, you got the two-car garage. Then we have a beautiful hardy board style exterior. So that's either a lure siding or hardy board, and it's gonna be a lot stronger than your vinyl so that's something that you want. Definitely a lot more fireproof and it'll definitely stand up better to hurricane force winds. And speaking of hurricane force winds, the beauty of the Jacksonville location is that a lot of the storms hit down south directly and they tend to miss Jacksonville or we tend to catch the storms as they are basically done, you know, uh, with the worst part of the storm. So let's go ahead and check this bad boy out front porch area here okay landscaping is fairly new all right and this is a brand new neighborhood so you still have some uh, flexibility before the HOA you know really kicks in and with that being the case we're gonna head on in I love this brush nickel finish on these door handles and I like the style of door handle as well I think that's elegant of course we have our power light bell when you get your security system I recommend getting a camera integrated into your doorbell. We have a light source up there. Okay, look at that garage. And we're gonna head on in this bad boy. Now, as you're headed in, you're gonna be greeted with this beautiful, beautiful wooden floors. Okay, as you can see, going upstairs is gonna be carpeted. That's where all your bedrooms are. That is a stain resistant carpet. We'll talk about that as we head upstairs. But let's go on ahead down this corridor. Now, some people that I've helped before, they wanted somewhat of a hallway leading up to the family room instead of the door opening and you're right in the family room. Guess what? This is the ideal home for you, especially if you're looking for a two story, four bedroom, two and a half bathroom home. All right. Now, check out this open concept area here. Family room, kitchen area. We got room for bar stools, you know, a breakfast nook. You can put a nice size kitchen table right there. We have plenty of room for entertainment here. You know, you hang your, your flat screen, put your L-shaped couch, you know, right here or something like that. And man, just, you know, enjoy. Or maybe, you know, have a couch running across here. TV up there, boom. You know, holiday season, you have your Christmas tree over here in this corner or that corner. So as people, you know, as your family come down the hallway, they can see all the gifts lined up around the tree. That's if you celebrate Christmas. But anyway, I just wanna paint some pictures of what you guys could do with a, a beautiful wide open home like this. 
very high ceilings. Okay, we have 42 inch uppers in the kitchen. We have black countertops. This is gonna be a granite. So, you know, for those of you who are looking for granite countertops, here you go. We have hardware on the cabinets. This is about three bar stools comfortably, but you can do four. You know, put you some nice placemats, leave it decorated, maybe some faux plants or something. And speaking of faux, one of the things that I like that this builder does is that they give you the two inch faux blinds. So these are just, they just have more of an elegant look. And you know, of course you can either keep these or upgrade them to like a darker color, you know, blackout style blind if you choose to. But I like that they already include the two inch faux blinds. Okay, storage amount, that's gonna be good. I think that's adequate for most families. Definitely a single person. You, know, you may need more space than that. We have a single pane unmounted sink right here. So, you know, when you're doing the dishes, that's the way it's gonna be set up. And then here is your view, you know, as you're in this kitchen. You can see out the sliders over here, the windows over there, you got your family room over here. So you definitely get a good view, you know, when you set your kitchen table up, you might get a small one put in this corner or something. You, you got a clear view throughout the entire first floor. All right. Now, we're gonna take a look inside this pantry here real quick. Show you guys that. Good amount of space in this pantry right here, guys. Okay. So I definitely like that. And I like the way that it's angled, you know, the whole wall is angled around that pantry. Now, even though this is a brand new construction home, you already know if you've been watching my channel that I recommend getting a home inspection. Okay, check this out. So this wall should be finished, but it's not. Of course, the builder will be patching that up, you know, before, the, before you buy it. You know, your baseboards will be finished. The paint will be finished. But, you know, hey, this is a huge investment. You know, it's not every couple of weeks or so that you buy houses, you know, especially if you're gonna live in it and it's gonna be your primary residence. So, like I said, my recommendation, get you a home inspection and it's just like, you know, if you get your suit tailored, you're gonna inspect it and make sure that they did a good job. You know, if you take your car to the shop, you wanna make sure that they got you set up and they're good to go. So the same thing with your home. Definitely get a home inspection. All right, now, we're gonna head out and check out this two car garage. Now this is full size pickup truck SUV friendly. I love the spacing here. And, you know, excuse the uh, supplies that the builder has. And speaking of the builder, this particular builder does not finish their garages. So, you know, the, the freedom of flexibility is there with that. You know, you might not want, you know, standard white walls in your garage. You know, so there you go, you have that flexibility. But if you want to finish, let me know and we'll see what we can work out for you. Now we're gonna head on upstairs. Now this is gonna be where all the bedrooms are located. Now, this is the the reason that i like this floor plan as soon as you come upstairs the first room that you have access to is your primary and this primary is good and spacious okay like i said everything up here is fully carpeted so you have that then here's your primary bath we do have a water closet i know that's on my short list if i were looking for a four bedroom two and a half bathroom home you know, in the primary, so you have that. We have a walk-in shower, dual sink vanity, okay? And, you know, that's a good closet. I think that uh, for women, this closet might be tight. You know, for couples, it will definitely be tight. But for a single person, that's definitely an adequate closet, depending on how you use it. <laughs> but anyway, let's keep it going. Now, one of the things that I do like that this builder has done is they have both the HVAC vents as well as the returns. So that way, you know, your fresh air remains circulating instead of air getting trapped in some rooms. We have our upstairs thermostat. You know, heat does rise, so you always wanna make sure your two-story has that. Here's our laundry room. We have whatever you're flooring. 
And this is gonna be a vinyl, but the thing about this is your laundry room. Now you can upgrade this, put you down some nice tile, but you know, just to get the job done, there you go, you have your attic access there. And then you have your HVAC closet here. And they have a pan at the bottom. So, you know, if you're looking for a resale home, then make sure that that pan is there. You know, of course it's something quick and easy, cheap to add. If you need to sell your home, I would recommend getting one of those and add it there. Okay, here is one of the guest bedrooms. Okay, a little bit on the cozy side. It's towards the front of the property. Okay. Then we'll check out this closet here. Okay. I think that's a good closet for like a kid's room, you know, or a guest bedroom. For those of you investors, if it's an Airbnb, I don't think it would matter as much or a rental property. So this guest bedroom right here is gonna be larger. There is a slight indentation when you walk into the front of the room right there. Okay. And here's this closet here. And this closet is ever so slightly larger than that last closet. So you get a little bit more space there. We have our second full bathroom right here. So both full bathrooms are upstairs. And then we have that lovely powder room downstairs. And then this is also a very decent sized guest bedroom. So if you need larger, you know, beds, say like you got three kids, two of my teenagers, then these two rooms would definitely uh, be ideal. You know, so I like that. And then let me show you out this window and you get privacy. So like out this window, I see the top of the neighbor's house. So, you know, if you're getting dressed or something and you don't want to close your blinds, then you pretty much get privacy out that way. Okay, and then here's another reason why I recommend a home inspection. I'm not sure why that builder has that tape on the floor, but you know, I'm not a home inspector. Nine times out of 10, you're not a home inspector. So that's why I recommend getting a home inspection so that, you know, the stuff that the builder doesn't catch, the home inspector will. All right, this is gonna be one of the largest investments that you ever make. Oh, and let me show you this closet right here, guys. Okay, just a linen closet. Oh, and speaking of which, I forgot to show you guys the linen closet here in the primary. I mean, it's spacious. And see, I mean, look at all that space in there. And see, this goes back about as far as you walk in the shower. So, you know, if this is gonna be a home that you keep for a while, you may want to look at having this removed and maybe doing a, a standalone tub and shower. But anyway, that's just my suggestion for an upgrade. And speaking of upgrades, this home is basically primed for an upgrade. It needs it. Okay. You know, one of the things that I would do is paint this into a darker wood color, you know, just so that handprints don't show over time, you know, that's just one of my personal takes on that. But with that being said, we're about to this backyard. And for this community, this house does sit on a larger lot. So if you care about lot size, you want something, you know, a little bigger than standard. I think this is a, I think this is gonna be a uh, 60 foot lot. And I can check with the builder and let you know that for sure. But anyway, to show you guys this so we do get this covered over area back here and this is going to be cool you know nice little area for you to put some outdoor chairs sit back and relax put your outdoor ceiling fan that's something that i would recommend okay here's the back of the home okay and then look we have beautiful fresh sod so you know if you move into this house my recommendation to maintain this grass buy you some scott's turf builder bonus s spread that on the, on the grass, do it once a quarter, and you'll have one of the greenest lots in the, in the community. Just like you see clearly where this yard stops and where the neighbors start. 
So if you want to maintain that deep, rich green look, that's what I recommend. And of course, I recommend doing it before it rains for a couple of days or you just, you know, make sure you water it. But anyway, this has been our tour of this lovely two story home north side of Jacksonville, Florida, guys. Okay, guys, so let me know what y'all thought about this tour. If you're interested in all the details, the incentives offered by the builder, whatever the case is, let me know if you need an evaluation on your home so you can sell in order to buy this bad boy right here. Don't hesitate to reach out. If you're relocating to Jacksonville, you're military, guess what? I served in the Marine Corps, so I know what it's like to PCS and get those orders and have to relocate. But look, if you made it to this point in the video, I thank you guys for watching. Take care, be blessed, and I'll catch you in the next one.